What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today we're going to build another trailer for our truck. If you noticed in the last episode during the time lapse, we found another zone of farmers and a few episodes ago with Cosmo, we found a bunch of farmers on a beach. So I want to build a big trailer that we can use our 18 wheeler with and uh, you know, just tow a bunch of farmers around. So it's just going to be like a big box trailer and we're going to put a crane on the back of it. So we can bring our 18 wheeler. We don't have to worry about smacking stuff with a hammer. We're just going to back the trailer up close to them. Use the crane arm, pick up the farmer, put him in the trailer, grab the next and so on and so forth. So that's the plan. I think we have enough materials to do it. Uh, we got a bunch of wood. So we're going to make the whole trailer out of wood. We have some pipe pieces. We have most of the functional parts we need. We've got some bearings and we do have some wheels. We'll need both of those. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're probably going to need a controller. Gonna need a switch. Gonna need a couple of those. Probably some logic gates. Might need more logic gates. Are we out of glue? We're always out of glue. Oh no, we got some glue. Ooh, ooh. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay out a basic trailer. The truck is 15 wide, so it should be just like that. And we'll extend this back a fair ways. I don't exactly know how many farmers we're gonna be able to fit in this trailer, but uh, it's not really my concern. We're just gonna build it relatively large and put just some basic fencing on the side. Uh, that should be big enough, I would think. And I want to change the grain pattern, so this is kind of a cool trick. You just put, you know, a block down on a lift, and you weld it the opposite way, and there we go. Now the grain pattern is in that direction. I don't know. It's just, you know, it's a just a cosmetic thing. It doesn't really matter, but now we've got the wood in that direction. All right, so we'll just put some axles on the back here. I think it goes down like so... And then like this. All right, perfect. So we've got our two axles there. This will be the height of the trailer. I like keeping the trailers a little bit off the ground because, you know, you get that extra little bit of height to go over obstacles, especially when the trailer is relatively long. We're going to extend this just a little bit more out the back and we will mount a crane to the back here in the middle uh, and put some controls. And then in the front, we got to bring this up to get on to the back of the truck. So... We got to go up a whole block level first and then that mounts to the truck with just a simple pin under that section, I believe. Like so. And I think it goes down two and then goes to a T-piece across and then goes to two pieces curving up. So that should be our pin. And then we just need to put a controller on this trailer and some legs. So we're just going to cut some grooves for the legs and put some bearings down. All right, perfect. That should hold the trailer up, no problem. And then we're just going to put our controller uh, just mounted somewhere up here in the middle. And connect it to both of those. They're going to have to rotate 90 degrees up. And we'll put our switch on the side over here um, just so it's easy and accessible. Or I guess we can put it, you know what, we can put it right under there. That'll work perfect. And if we just connect this up, set these over to 90. Now we should be able to check exactly how much space we need. Perfect. Those fold up. And we got, there we go. Cover up that. Awesome. So that's the whole trailer. Now we just got to put a crane on the back and we got to put walls around the sides of the trailer. So I'm going to start with the fence walls, which I think if we go like this high all the way around, I don't think the farmer guys can get out of it. Um, I don't know how many intervals we're actually going to need with like pillars i don't think we actually need that many pillars in the middle i'm pretty sure we can just have this nice big open style trailer and this should work just fine this is my guess i don't know i don't think they can fit under this though or even under here like we can fit under here as a player which is actually kind of nice but i think the farmer is taller we can check that when we get there we can always just lower it a block not a big deal uh, but i think this is what i want to do just make a really simple fence pattern not using that much material as well keeping the trailer nice and light and I don't think we're going to have to worry about them bouncing out of the top uh, simply because, you know, that's just, it's insane. They'd have to bounce so high up to do that. All right, so now all we got to do is build the crane that we're going to put on the back of this. And actually, I'm going to move this trailer out of the way for now. We're just going to build the crane as its own separate entity because I feel like that'll be easier. And then we'll figure out where to mount it on the trailer to have it work. So the crane is going to use an electric motor to rotate it and then just a bunch of pistons. So ideally, I want it to be able to extend out, come back, pick stuff up with a piston, and put it in place and then of course we're gonna have to mount it on the trailer somewhere where it can actually lift the stuff into the trailer um so we might have to mount it up relatively high but let's just build a little bit of a base 
And we'll use this diamond plate just because we have a bunch of it, so we might as well. And we'll build our base with our electric engine. Actually, we can cut this down. Perfect. And we'll put a rotating joint there. And then our crane body will go up like this. So now we're going to put a seat on the side of this. Just so we have our control. And then we need this to extend out from here. And then go up. Probably go up first and then extend out as well. So we're probably going to need a piston to raise the whole thing up. So once we grab the farmer, we can lift him up above the entire body of the truck. And then we're going to have a simple sort of pulsing piston mechanism, just like the farm on this crane, except this one will be completely manually controlled. So this is going to hook into there. That's going to hook into there. We need to set up some logic, which actually we can just do on the front here. We're going to need a few more logic gates. So we're going to need three gates to do the pulsing loop like so. And then I believe we need an OR gate and a NOR gate. Um... And the OR gate feeds off one, and the NOR gate feeds off the other. And then we need a couple of AND gates on that as well. Or do we? I don't think... Yeah, we do. Yeah, we need a couple AND gates on this as well. Like this. So these should be offset now if we hook these in. Which should pulse that perfect. So the end doesn't move. Excellent. This is kind of bulky logic. I'm going to cover this up with diamond plate too, so we don't have to watch it flashing all the time. And then all we need to do is hook up our buttons. So we're actually just going to put the two buttons on this diamond plate here. And then we're going to need a switch to turn this on as well. So the switch goes into uh, all three of these AND gates. So one here, one here, and one there. So now it turns it off. We flick it. It turns on, turns off. Excellent. So the pistons aren't moving. Uh, switch, and then two and three. And then number two hooks into, uh, shoot, I don't remember. I think it's the NOR gate, and that's it. Is it? Am I right? I don't know. We got to figure this out. There we go. So that two. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Two hooks into the NOR gate, and this NOR gate, I think. There we go. Perfect. So two shuts them all off, and then three hooks into. This gate here, which is a regular OR gate, as well as the other gate here. This gets really confusing, to be perfectly honest. So let me try this out. Now, three turns them both on. Perfect. So three is both on, two is both off, and one stops the pulsing. So now, if we take this and run it, it pulses. Two retracts it. Three extends it. Oh, we got to we gotta actually give our pistons some distance. Hold on. There we go. So three extends it, and it'll stop wherever we extend it to. Two retracts it, and it'll stop wherever it retracts to. One turns it off completely, and then W and S uh, should rotate this whole thing. Oh, we got batteries. Hold on. Do we have batteries? Yes, we do. Perfect. So let's put some batteries in, and now W and S. Okay, well, it needs to be welded down to the ground, but you get the idea. This should work, I think. So weld this. Perfect. Rotate, rotate, excellent, three, look at that, this is awesome, we're gonna be able to grab them no problem, and bring them back, alright, and then we can lift up with this mechanism, which isn't a problem, so we can use that, we need another switch, of course, to actually lift up those, and then all we need to do is make a claw on the end of this that can grab the little dude, so we're gonna just cover this up so we don't have to look at that and blind ourselves, and we need a claw mechanism now on this. Okay, so we got another switch here. Um, actually, we can just put these down. We'll cover this up with switches. So there we go. Another switch here. This switch is going to activate that piston. So now if we want to raise the whole thing up, we can press 4. And that'll raise the piston up. And this will be for getting the farmers into the trailer. So we're going to mount the crane low so that the claw is already like good to grab the farmer at the height the crane is at. And then you actually lift it up over the trailer and then rotate it, bring it in, and then drop them off. So all we need to do now is actually put a claw on it, and then we should be good to go and grab a farmer. Now, I don't know how big the farmers are. I actually don't know their dimensions, but we can just kind of bring some of the parts as well in case our claw doesn't work. So I just want to do a, a claw relatively simply with some pistons, like two pistons that just clamp it together in between some pipe pieces, and I don't think they need to be very powerful or anything. So we're just going to bring this mechanism down like so. Put a piston on either side. And then put a bunch of pipe pieces that form the claw. That'll pick up our farmers. And actually, I think we can do it 
something like this. I honestly don't know. We'll have to see how big these farmers are. Okay, so I think this is going to work. This is kind of the idea. We're going to just weld this up on a pillar for a really uh, quick test here. But if we have this welded up on a pillar like so, the idea is that we can press W to rotate one way, S the other way, and we can press 1 and then rotate ourselves, extend it out, grab the farmer uh, by pressing 5, closing it, Pressing four to lift the farmer up. And of course the pistons like they'll hopefully grab them around the outside. And we might bring some extra pipe pieces with us to adjust that. And then we'll rotate this in and put it back into the trailer. So this should work, I think. This should be a good enough crane, hopefully. And that way we can lift up all the farmers, bring them in, drop them in our trailer. And hopefully have enough reach to kind of move them around the trailer. Oh, look at that. That actually looks perfect. It's just the right width. Okay, and then we can actually clean this up a little bit. Connect this up there. Perfect. And we can actually bring this across and finish that up. Oh, excellent. This actually looks sick. It's like a little crane mounted on the back. So, um... Oh, we gotta take this off the lift. Hold on, there we go. Now if we press W... Oh, we don't have rotation movement. Uh, this is, um... This is a problem. All right, I've gone ahead and removed the seat from the crane and just mounted it actually centered in the back. I think this will be good, except now we need to be able to go down because, like, this is not... This is great for going up, but we need another piston that goes down. We're not going to be able to actually reach anything that's on the ground here. So we need to be able to bring this whole crane mechanism down, but that actually shouldn't be too difficult. Just need another piston, which we have... Uh, something like this. We need another switch as well, which we can make relatively easily. No problem. And then we should be good to go, and hopefully we can, uh, head out today and get some farmers and try this whole thing out. So we just need a block here, and then we need to put this piston in between this block and the next part, which is this section here. Perfect, like so. Excellent. It kind of hangs a little bit low when you're just, you know, driving around. And actually, you know what? If we're doing this, we can actually bring this whole crane up uh, a few blocks so that we can kind of get it out of the way here. So let's just grab this and let's bring it up. All right. So one final switch and then we just got to wire everything back up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six goes to that. And I think we're good to go. All right, so let's do some real quick checks here. And then let's hook it up to the truck and get out of here. So one turns on the pulse. Three extends it out. Two brings it back. W and S gives us our rotation. So we can actually rotate. Uh, five doesn't... What, why is it five? Oh, five is not connected to these, right? It needs to be connected to those. Okay. So five opens up our claw and brings it back together, which hopefully can grab the farmer's. Six lowers this down. Look at that, right to ground level. That's awesome. And four brings the whole thing up so we can then rotate it back in and put them in. All right, this should work. This should be a good crane system right on the back of this trailer. And we should have tons of room in this trailer to fit some farmers down. So let's uh, get some fuel, hook this up to our truck and get on out of here. Let's head towards some farmer zones and see what we can do. All right, let's back our truck up. You'll notice I put the bed in the back of the truck as well. Took it off the back of the buggy, put it in the back of the truck. So we do have a bed in here and that's a good respawn point. There we go. Let's grab this up. Perfect. We're gonna need to extend this parking area at some point. We've got too many trailers now and not enough space for them all, but uh, let's go get some farmers. Let's see if we can do this. So let's just get off this platform. Don't go in the ocean. Thank you. All right, the trailer's up. Crane's kind of tilted to the one side. We might have to take a look at that and see why that's happening. Can we turn? This is a really tight turn to get out of, too. I'm not really a big fan of it. I really should hook up the trailers outside the base. This is, uh, yeah, this corner's a bit of a doozy to try and do. To be honest, I think I need to redesign this front entrance a little bit so that we have more room to get the trailers out. They're getting, like, you know, they're long and bulky, and that makes it a little bit difficult to do that really tight 90-degree turn. Uh, but we're finally out. We're on the road now, so let's get over to the first dwarf place, and we'll probably get there, and then we'll just have to wait until daylight. I don't really want to do this in the middle of the night. I'd like to try and do it during the day. I also realized, too, one of the places with farmers is uh, the Scorched Earth place, the place with all the burning trees, and we have a wooden trailer, so the axles shouldn't burn, but we got to make sure we don't drive over any fire and accidentally light the trailer on fire, although I haven't tested if that actually does anything or not, but I don't really want to find out. 
All right, so since we're pretty much gonna have to drive through the night anyways, there are a couple of dwarves in the cotton area, but I'm actually just gonna take the truck and go all the way to the end of the road to that beach, which had like eight of them last time, because I feel like that's gonna be the best spot for us to just pick up as many as possible and see how many we can fit in the trailer. The cotton area I saw had four of them, I believe, and then there's one in the scorched earth area as well, so that's only five, but I feel like we can just head all the way to the end of the road and just deal with that, no problem. Excuse me, farm bot. Yeah, no, I'll let you keep chasing him. That's fine. See ya. Well, it's daytime again, and we're almost at the end of the road. I'm pretty sure this is the last stretch of road, and then we get to that parking lot, and then we go up through that weird trail and get onto the beach, where there should be eight farmers like there was last time. So hopefully we can do this. If this creation works first try, I'm going to be amazed. Like, if we can actually use the crane first try to pick up a farmer i'd be impressed but i have a feeling the way we grab them isn't going to be enough but i'm hoping it works like i i really do i should have brought a farmer back to build the creation and test it with but here we go here's the parking lot and the complete end of the road and now if we go up in through this trail we should be able to maneuver our way through here it's a little bit tight but we should be okay we might have to cut down some trees there we go. And then we'll get these farmers. Now, let's see how many there are. I see a couple already. Fantastic. All right. I see, yeah, three, four, five. There's a lot of them. Holy cow. There are so many of them just in this one spot. Amazing. All right. So let's just park right here in the middle. It looks like we can drive through and go out that trail. So let's just park here. Let's hop out and let's try using the crane. So here we go. So first one, we got to activate the one button for sure uh and then we need to activate the six button to lower this down open it up and then press three to go forward here all right perfect oh okay hold on and then press six clamp it did that work and then five nope wrong button six. Oh my goodness it works it actually grabbed the farmer it's a little bit crooked but that's okay okay and then we can bring it back and we can press four to go up. Oh my goodness, this actually works. Oh, this is awesome. This is so good. I can't believe this works first try. Are you kidding me? Are you actually serious right now? Look at this. We can go all the way to the front. And then we just press five. This is so good. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, grab another one. This is amazing. I can't believe this works as well as it does. Right onto this guy. No, nope. down a little bit. Oh, hold on. Oh, I see. We got a problem here. We might have to move them. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Because we have another We have another one. We can just bring this forward. Uh, Press four. Nope. Wrong one. Six. There we go. Goes down. Five grabs him. Six comes up. Four goes up again. Rotate back into position. Oh, this is great. I can't believe this works as well as it does. This is amazing. Hopefully the creation doesn't lag too much. It is getting a little bit uh, a little bit laggier, but we've got two of them so far. I think we'll be able to fit maybe five. Let's just get another one here. This is amazing. I can't believe it works for sure. I don't even know what to say. Like, I, I was expecting there to be a change, something we need to fix, anything. But it's just like, nope, works perfect. Six, grab it. Five, come up. Oh, no, see, I pressed the wrong button. I got to get used to the controls. Five. There we go. Six, come up. Four, go up the other way. Press two to retract it back in. Rotate it back around. This is actually the coolest thing. All right. Five to deploy. And then bring this back. There we go. And then just push it forward. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You know, I think to make our lives easier, we're going to bring a few of them over with the hammer as well. Just so we don't have to back up the truck. We can just do this. Move them closer. Perfect. It's definitely getting laggier with all the farmers. We might hit a lag limit here because the farmers aren't actually... Um, they're not actually attached. They're kind of just free-floating. So they're all free-floating next to each other. It's like transporting a bunch of balls, basically, that aren't actually attached. Whereas with the fruit crates... They all end up being attached to the creation. So we'll load up these three and see if this is enough. But I can't believe this works as well as it does. So let's just... Uh, these guys might be a little close. Hold on. Can we... Can we... You guys are a little close here. Retract. Nope. There we go. Perfect. 
Okay, got it. Still extend. No, extend. There we go. Excellent. Up, up. Yeah, remembering all the controls is a bit difficult, but other than that, this works really, really well. Uh, and then drop that one. Then come down. Push it forward. Yeah, I think we should be able to get two more. So six total. If we can do six in one run, though, that's not bad. I feel like six is a good number. <laughs> this is great. This is actually awesome. These kinds of cranes are so cool because you get the precision to go exactly where you want to, which just makes them so easy compared to, like, if you had it just with pistons on a fixed controller, then you'd have to, you know, really pay attention to every single possible movement you do, and you'd have to have your controller adjusted all the time every time you want it to go to a different length. This one might be a little bit difficult. Uh, we're just gonna have to kind of drop it into place, and then we'll leave the crane hanging off the back. But I think that's the exact capacity of this trailer. I think it's six. I don't think you could do a seventh comfortably. Even then, the lag is kind of getting a little bit bad. So there we go. Let's go like that. Perfect. Let's turn the crane off. Rotate this around. And let's just hang it off the back end again. Oh, this is awesome. This actually worked super, super well. Look at that. Six dwarfs in a trailer. Let's go. All right. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Okay, so the lag gets a little bit better as soon as they move. It's just because they were, I guess, on a static creation. This is amazing. Maybe we could jam in a seventh. Like, maybe. But I'm not even going to risk it. Six is good enough. We just got to be careful going back. Make sure we don't do anything too crazy. Hit any crazy bumps or jumps or anything. Can we even... Oh, God. We cannot... We're not fitting out through this. All right, let's back up. We're going this way now. This will work. Should be able to head back out the trail we came in. And I think we got room for it. I'm not worried about getting that chest now. We're going to come back and get those other two later at some other point in time. For now, we're just going to try and get out of here and back onto the road. Once we're on the road, I think we'll be okay. Because we can take the road pretty much all the way back to the trader. This is pretty awesome, though. I don't think they can actually get out from underneath this trailer. So as long as we don't bounce them too hard, we, well, we should be fine. And I don't think this trailer is going to bounce. It's just it's super, super heavy with all the minutes. So let's see if we can do this. Get out this road. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Let's cruise all the way back to the trader. Let's go. You could definitely fit a seventh. You see as they roll around, but I feel like a seventh would just kill the frame rate even more. Like, we're not doing bad for frame rate. We're still at about 70 frames per second, but normally it's about like 140, so it's kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit laggier than it should be, but it's all right. The truck's doing pretty well. We got, you know, half a tank of fuel left, so it's not bad. Uh, you know, it's powerful enough to get going. It has a bit of issues turning. I think I might have to redesign the pin mechanism a little bit. When you're going in reverse, it doesn't really like turning very well in reverse when the trailer's heavy. When the trailer's light, it doesn't seem to have an issue. So it might just be a scrap mechanic physics thing. It might be the way I have the pin done. Uh, the hill of death. Okay, let's just, just, yeah, glide on down. That's fine. Perfect. Of course, it's pretty much nighttime again by the time we got that whole thing done. So we're going to probably be at the trader at night, but that's okay. We'll wait until morning to actually sell all this stuff to the trader. We're going to just get there because I don't like being out in the wilderness where farm bots can get you. At least at the trader, there doesn't seem to be any spawns for farm bots. So it's kind of nice, but, you know, luckily we just have to follow the roads to get there. There's no real crazy paths. And it seems like there aren't too many crazy farm bots on the roads. Like you don't really get a big red guy spawning on the road which is nice because that would really just screw our day up got to be really careful going down hills make sure you don't accidentally catch some air and you know have them launch i'm like i really don't want one of these guys to fall out but that crane is amazing i can't believe it all the struggles before trying to hit the guy up a ramp with a hammer and one simple crane and it was the easiest thing to load and the crane could reach the entire distance of this trailer i didn't think it could but it could reach all the way to the front so you can literally just put them down wherever you need them to be and we could fit a 7th. This is so awesome. This trailer is like one of the best builds in a single try I think I've ever been able to do in survival. Like every other build in survival, I've had to go back and make adjustments afterwards. And this trailer is like, other than painting it, I don't really want to make any adjustments. It works great. And it's got a good crane system that easily grabs these farmers without actually dropping them. So, you know, I think it's really, really good. All right, here we go. We're at the packing station. So we just turn right here. Head through the hills. This is kind of the sketchy part. Doing a little bit of off-roading. Got to make sure we just don't hit any bumps, you know, too hard. We should be okay, though. As long as we avoid big holes like that. There we go. And then we just head up this hill. 
get over to the trader and we're good to go and then we're just gonna wait until morning to turn these guys in because it's kind of dark out and you know i like being able to see once again it is daytime favorite time of the game i kind of wish there was a way to speed up night i mean i understand you know there's a day night cycle and everything else but it is really aggravating when it's really dark out you need lots and lots of lights if you want to make stuff bright but anyway let's just deliver these six farmers and um this trailer has a struggle time backing up when it's got farmers in it it's pretty good empty but there we go we actually we might get this no problem perfect so let's just deliver these guys and see what the trader's gonna give us all right six farmers so what can we get with six farmers i think bountable spud guns is a thing right oh no they're just blueberries and bananas all right so what do we actually need farmers for we need them for the guns right so the spud shotgun and the spud gatler we need farmers so we can get those no problem and then for garment boxes we need farmers and i think is that it that's it so just for basically the guns and the garment boxes so Good that we've got some farmers, and at least now we've got an epic way to transport a ton more farmers all at once. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to head back to base. That's a good run. Six farmers in a single shot. It does consume a fair amount of fuel driving this truck all the way across the map and back. But uh, that is one place to get a ton of farmers all at once. And the truck luckily can handle it no problem. And it's pretty easy to load and unload the farmers. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next time.